All right, a little bit of experiment here, trying to make it quick. Uh, APC, old backup UPS ES350. Uh, you know, very small battery, very small backup battery time. And we discovered that the 9 volt batteries, the 9 amp battery, well, the 9 amp hour batteries that we use in some of our other units, uh, physically has the same shape as this opening here. See, it fits in really good. So we're like, okay, so how do we get that in there? And first of all, we tested it, hooked it up, and sure enough, it held a charge and charged up and did everything it's supposed to do. So uh, basically, the box itself limits the size of the battery, but it works on the big battery as well. So let's move. Let's see what we can do to get this battery in here. I got hammer. I got chisels. I got pliers. There's different things you can use. Basically, you break these out as much as you can with pliers because that's the quickest way to do the big things. And it'll look something like this. This is what it looks like when you've used pliers. Now there's a bunch of little ones still left over that need to be removed. Basically anything else that sticks out, you can remove these ones right here. You might be able to leave, but everything else has got to go. Like these ridges here, it just it just will not fit. I mean, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It won't go all the way down. I mean, it goes down further, but it won't close. See, so we still got a ridge, and the cover will not close over that. And so, basically, we got to change that. So this is what I did. I used the chisel to clean up the work, and sure enough, the chisel made it look a lot more messier, but it's uh, ridge-free. There's no ridges. It's flat everywhere. And um, the smaller chisel works better than a fat chisel. To be more precise, I used the fat chisel at worst at the beginning, which is the reason why it's so messy. You can see how horrible it is with the big chisel. Anyhow, so um, I removed everything except for these two ridges right here because these ones actually stabilize the battery, keep it from moving. I don't really mind them being there. And this is what it does. It fits all the way in. I'll show you right now. I'm going to hook it up. I'll hook it up so I don't waste your time. Um, basically, let's get it hooked up. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I think you can. And then basically you hook it up and then you hook it up and then you stick it in. And there it is all the way in. And this will now go on. Now it closes. No problem. Perfectly fits. All right. So. Now we got a backup UPS ES350 with a much bigger battery in it, and we are going to, it's already somewhat charged. It's an old button. All right, so it beeps like that when it's not plugged in. That's normal. That's how it tells you, okay, you have a power outage, uh, save your work, you know, shut down your computer. So we're going to plug it in. I'll turn it off first. Plug it in to the power outlet. All right, so it's plugged in, right? And now Yeah, you heard it. You heard that click. That that means it's charging. It's no longer beeping and you can see how rough this is. You know why it's like that? Because I've been using them for footstools for the last five years because I didn't think I could use it for anything else. And I was getting ready to clip the cord one day. I'm like, oh, I'll just use it permanently as a footstool. And I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe I can fit a bigger battery in this thing. Sure enough, I was right. And it works. And I think it'll work just as good. I'm not certain. Let me know if this is a stupid idea or a stupid practice or if this is dangerous in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and use it on a computer here and test it out and see how it works. And, uh, you know, at the very least, I got a really big backup battery for my portables to charge from. And uh, this is this unit right here. And these are the specs. It's the ES350.
and I think the 9 amp is the biggest you can go in this normal size without doubling up. And yeah, so uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and share my video if you can, and uh, subscribe because I'm going to start doing some tech videos. I also got some mining videos and a few other videos I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you would like to, please subscribe just so I can uh, boost up my viewership and hopefully you know, make some money off of YouTube. <laughs> All right, take care, y'all. Samson over and out.